Welcome to the Pearl Pioneer Kitchen. Uh, today we're gonna be making an elk citrus salad. So we're coming out of winter, we're moving into spring, and, what, and we still have wild game meat in our freezer. So what we like to do is we like to come up with some fresh recipes that kind of represent the season. We're gonna move out of the comfort recipes of the fall and the winter and moving into the fresh uh, recipes for the spring. So this elk citrus salad has elk meat, coleslaw, mandarin oranges, edamame, almonds, uh, sesame seeds, some soy sauce or coconut aminos, whichever you prefer, some honey, some rice vinegar, and we're gonna combine all of this into a fresh uh, spring salad. So the first thing we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna brown our elk meat. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil to an already preheated skillet over medium high heat. And then we're gonna add in our fresh elk meat and get that browning. So we want to add fat to our skillet when we're cooking with elk meat or venison because obviously it's a leaner meat and so you want a fat added. You can use olive oil, you can use any cooking oil essentially that you prefer, um, but we wanna make sure we have some fat in there in the skillet to cook with the elk meat. So while Mike has the oh, elk okay. meat browning over in the skillet, we're going to crumble up the ramen, add it to a baking sheet, add the almonds, and we're gonna toast in the oven for like five minutes. So now we have most of the ramen crumbled onto the baking sheet. We're gonna add a half a cup of almonds. We're gonna want to get the almonds and the ramen all spread out onto a single layer on our baking sheet. And we're gonna toast in the oven uh, at 425 for five minutes. Okay, so now our elk meat is pretty much browned. We want it kind of broken up into smaller pieces, but not too small, because we want to be able to really kind of enjoy um, that, those chunks of that elk meat in the salad. So we're gonna turn the heat off. We're gonna remove it from heat. There's no need to drain any, any grease because there is typically not that much. Um, and we're gonna, let it, we're gonna set it aside and let it cool while we prepare the rest of the salad. So we're gonna toast the ramen and the, the almonds. almonds for five minutes, the timer for five minutes. So while the ramen and the almonds are toasting, Mike's keeping an eye on them. We're toasting them for five minutes, but you do want to kind of keep an eye on them so that we make sure we don't overbrown them. So while they're toasting, we're going to make the dressing. So we have coconut aminos or soy sauce, whichever one you prefer. We're using coconut aminos, or, um, but you can also use soy sauce, whichever you prefer. You're going to add the soy sauce. You're going to add the rice vinegar. We're gonna add honey and three tablespoons of olive oil. And then we're gonna give it a good whisk. So once the ingredients are all in your bowl, bowl <laughs> you're gonna wanna whisk them together. And this is essentially gonna be the dressing for the salad. It's just an oil and vinegar based dressing. Has some of those familiar flavors. We have our dressing ready. The ramen and the almonds are toasted. So now it's, start, now it's time to start assembling our salad. So this salad, instead of using lettuce or spinach, um, it only uses coleslaw. So we're gonna add in a, good, a full bag of your classic coleslaw mix. And then we're gonna just start adding all of our ingredients and then we're gonna toss it all together. So we're gonna add um, edamame. There you go, sir. We're gonna add some additional shredded carrots. We're gonna add um, four uh, chopped green onions with both the green and the white. We're gonna add our cooked venison into the salad bowl. So now you're gonna carefully add the toasted ramen and almonds <laughs> to the dish. Teamwork. Okay, 
Next, we're gonna add a little bit of sesame seeds. We're gonna add pepper, cracked black pepper. We're gonna add some salt. We're gonna add our dressing and then we're gonna get it all tossed together. So let's add our dressing. Now let's give it a big toss. There you go, sir. Okay, so now that everything's in the bowl, we're gonna toss all the ingredients together to make sure it's all mixed. It's all combined thoroughly. We got a lot of that dressing. Make sure that dressing's covered on everything. So continue tossing, it looks really good. So one thing I like about this elk citrus salad is we're gonna add, we're gonna add the mandarin oranges at the very end, but I like that it has the fresh the freshness of the acidic in the oil and vinegar dressing. It has the citrus, uh, acidic of the citrus of the oranges, and that combines really well with any type of wild game meat, especially like ground elk or ground venison. It just pairs really well with those natural earthy tones of your ground elk. So now that it's all mixed together, the last step is to add the mandarin oranges to the top of the salad. You're gonna wanna just kinda spread those out. Well, it looks like a fruit salad. <laughs> yummy, yummy. And then... The wiggles. Okay, so now our salad is ready to be served. So this salad is great for, like I said, it's great for spring, it's great for summer. If you're going to a potluck, a barbecue, this is a great side dish to have. It's a great way to use your wild game meat uh, in the spring and the summertime. Um, it's just a really light and refreshing salad. So Mike, we're gonna... You're gonna be the taste tester. Nice. All right, so let's give her a let's give her a taste test. Get some elk meat. Get all those flavors in there. Pretty good. I really like the crunch of the coleslaw with the crunch of the noodles. By just using a half a pound of elk meat, the elk there's not so much meat, so you still have that light, refreshing salad but with just a little bit of protein added. It's just really good. Okay, so again, you can find this elk citrus salad recipe on our blog at primalpioneer.com. Go ahead and head over to the blog, check out the recipe, print it, try it, leave us a review, uh, leave us five stars if you like the recipe, and come back again for more. Oh my God. I freaking whacked him twice.